Welcome to our configuration video. Today we will take a look at how easy it is to configure an energy meter. For example, to embed it in the energy suite, to read data from the energy meter into the controller and to visualize it. We start in TIA portal. An ET200SP CPU has already been created under devices and networks. Now we configure the energy meter to this CPU. To do this, we open the hardware catalog on the right side and go to the folder AI for analog input modules. Below, we select the folder AI energy meter. Here, we select our energy meter and drag and drop it to the next free slot. Then we add the server module as the final module for completeness. Next, we click on our energy meter and open the properties in the lower tab. Here, we first open the module parameters and set the wiring type. This specifies how the wiring for the measurement was done on the energy meter. More information about the wiring type can be found in the manual. Afterwards, we set the measuring voltage and the grid frequency. We also select our transformer type. Since we have chosen an energy meter in the RC variant, we can choose here between the Rogowski coil and the current to voltage converter. In our case, we choose the current to voltage transformer. To read out the data, we select the process data variant for total power L1 to L3 under user data. Now we have finished the configuration. Next, we download the configuration to the controller. To have a look at the data, we can store the data in PLC variables. For this, we get the data from the periphery address. In our case, the currents of the phases as well as the total power are on the input address 2 to 10. You can find out which value is at which position in the quick start chapter of the manual. If we now connect to the controller online, we can monitor the variables. As soon as we switch on a load, we can read the currents as well as the current power. To prepare the energy meter for the use of the energy suite, we have to change the user data configuration. To do this, we navigate to user data within module parameters in the properties. Select the Enable user data mapping option here. Subsequently, active power, active energy import and active energy export must now be stored on the first three addresses. Now the energy meter is prepared for the energy suite. To create the energy meter as an energy data source for an energy object, navigate to energy objects within the PLC. Create a new energy object table and a new energy object. Then choose a name for the energy object and select the energy meter as energy data source. If the user data mapping is not created as shown above, it will not appear in the drop-down menu. Then select the archiving period for the energy data and the configuration is complete. In the next step, generate the energy program from the created energy objects. As soon as the generation is finished, download the project to the controller via download software completely. A folder with the name Energy Suite Program has been created under the program blocks automatically. In this folder, go to Acquisition Objects to find the energy object you created. Open the data block and expand the energy basic structure. If you monitor the data block, you can now see the currently measured energy consumption and the current power consumption on the energy meter. This brings us to the end of our configuration video. As you can see, we can make the data from the energy meter visible with just a few clicks. For more information about energy management and energy measurement, please visit our media system. Here we have gathered all the information for you once again. 
Thank you for watching and see you next time.